So yeah, welcome to part two of the Mechanist DLC. Um, so this is going to be very different and probably a lot shorter than the Far Harbor DLC, obviously. But uh, the Mechanist, the Mechanist DLC, uh, I think it's called Automatron, Automatron or something like that, I forget. But uh, it was weak, very weak, in fact, actually um, lame to say the least. Um, the Mechanist DLC fell into the trap of um, just repeating dungeons over and over and over again on fighting robots. Um, when I first saw that they made a DLC about the Mechanist and that they just recycled a character without using any of its actual backstory for a character. Uh, I was just like, whatever, I did not care. Um, if you played Fallout 3, the Mechanist and the Ant Animizer were two anti-heroes, I want to say. Well, I, I would say actually the Ant Animizer or whatever her name was was actually a villain, but the Mechanist was more of like an anti-hero character in Fallout 3. Just two crazy people who wore superhero and, and supervillain costu costumes and were terrorizing the town of Canterbury Commons in Fallout 3. I cannot believe I actually remembered that off the top of my head. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, the Mechanist, his whole his whole premise in Fallout 3 was to stop this lady who could control ants somehow um, through telepathy, I want to say, or through pheromones. I don't know if it was actually explained. I want to say it was telepathy, or she had some she had some sort of special bond with the, the killer ants. And the Mechanist was there to stop them, but at the same time. He kept fucking up and killing people at the same time because his robots were out of control. His robo brains and his protect, protect, protectrons were also out of control and would would kill people. So um, Canterbury Commons was was done with both of them. They kind of just wanted them both out of the way. If you could solve it peacefully, they were like happy. But if you just killed them both, the town was also happy about it. So um, when I saw that they were making this DLC and they weren't using any of that story from Fallout 3, it's just some random person who's really good with robotics and dons the Mechanist costume. For me, it wasn't... It's, it's whatever at that point. When, if you're not gonna go off what the Mechanist actually was then, or use any kind of story about it even coming from Fallout 3 in the Capital Wasteland, then what's the point? I don't know. So. The premise of that DLC is there's robots, new types of robots, for the Commonwealth anyway, that are running around and killing people, um, those being the robo-brains. <clears throat> now this did shed extra light on robo-brains, I did appreciate that, that they shed more backstory on robo-brains and the human experimentation that went on with convicts and criminals and 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 the stuff that the government was doing in order to make robo brains with Rob Tech, with Rob Tech. So um, uh, that was interesting. I enjoyed that. But as far as the whole mechanist coming into play, it was very bland, very bland. And um, the the ending fight that you have when you actually come face to face with the mechanist after all the work that you do is. So just, uh, I was ready to be done with it by the end. I was loaded up like, you, you, I don't know if anyone else is like this when they play, play Fallout, but you, you know when you're at the point where you're overpowered, you can kill stuff if, if you really wanted to right away in a fight. Um, but the Mechanist, I knew I could fucking do that with, with the hordes of robots that they threw at you. But I thought there might be something more to it, so I tried to draw out the fight a little more and make it more interesting, but no. It's just waves after waves after waves, a horde mode, uh, basically, for the for the last fight. 
So the payoff isn't very good. You find out that it's revealed that the mechanist is just some lady who's donning the costume of the mechanist because she found a drawing off of a dead caravaner. No mention of anything from Fallout 3. No mention of the Capital Wasteland. No mention of the Mechanist at all from what we would know from Fallout 3. So, the payoff is just garbage at the end. Um, I was I was very bored with the Mechanist one. Uh, the weapons you get aren't very good. Um, you get a, a new companion that's a... Per Protectron mixed with um, like an Assaultron, so that's kind of neat, and you can upgrade it and stuff. But that also requires a lot of the using the building system and stuff like that that I wasn't a fan of in Fallout 4. So having to go out and play Sims or Harvest Moon, where you're just going out and collecting a bunch of scraps and crap to create things and make things, for me that's that's not very fun. Um, I don't like grinding in that way. So, for me, that's just a nitpick, obviously. Some people really liked that system. For me, not very fun. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole story of this lady just making robots and bringing them to the Commonwealth, or she was in the Commonwealth, and the robo-brains mixing up the, the, the direct orders of saving humanity, basically thinking of humanity like Skynet, the best way to save humanity is to kill humanity before they kill each other. For me, really bad. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, I give it a four, maybe a three even. Um, it just wasn't very entertaining. Um, and at the end, you do get the Mechanist costume. I guess that's kind of cool. Um, the Mechanist armor is actually really really strong compared to a lot of the vanilla armor in the game. It's even better than the fucking Doom Marine armor, which really pisses me off, because I did buy the Doom Marine armor in Fallout 4 with the BFG and all that shit, and um, the Doom Marine armor is actually kind of pathetic. Like, I know it looks, when you look at the Doom Marine armor, it doesn't look like it'd be very strong, but it could fight hell, so you would think that it'd be a little stronger than it is. And it's not. It's it's actually pretty pathetic. I don't think. I don't even think the base stat of the Doom Marine armor is above 50. So and it, and it, I think it, it doesn't even do. It, it, it's radiation protection isn't even that good. So whatever. Um, the Mechanist DLC, shorter video. Like I said, still going on almost 10 minutes. Not very good. Not worth your money um, unless you buy the Game of the Year edition for really cheap. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video when we do Nuka, Nuka World. So yeah, I'll see you probably next week when I finish Nuka World. Hope you guys enjoyed this. See you in the next video.